Hi everyone, welcome to my channel sharing. Don't forget to press the subscribe button for every week new tutorial. For today, I'm gonna make a simple tutorial to make a scary Halloween Jack o Lantern pumpkin like you see on the screen. And why? Because Halloween is coming. So let's just gonna, uh, start it. We're gonna make this easy scary pumpkin and you and it's gonna be all vector. So I start it. First, we're gonna make a simple ellipse here like this no matter how you arrange the uh, size of it we can just manage it rather this first ellipse i'm gonna color it uh, this orange ff9955 orange and uh, give it x unknown uh, lines or stroke you can select uh, you can press shift and then select this so uh, the second step we are gonna make the second ellipse we can do just press ctrl d to duplicate it so we're gonna have two different ellipse here to make it different i'll i'll color it this orange ff7f2a and then we're gonna slide it to the right a little bit maybe like this and yeah it's pretty good and you press pitch down to make it in the lower so, so it's gonna be in the bottom of the first uh, ellipse maybe i'm gonna slide it a little and then we're gonna make a third ellipse so this is the first second and the third just duplicate it and slide it a little bit to the right then paste pitch down press pitch down or you can press end button on your keyboard doesn't uh, doesn't matter if it's not symmetrical distance from the right and the left we can arrange it later what I'm gonna do is press this ellipse and this and then I'm gonna group this just press ctrl G for it and then I'm gonna select this ellipse too so we're gonna select them all like this press ctrl shift A ctrl shift A then you're gonna see the align and distribute and distribute windows over here you can select the center on vertical axis and center on horizontal axis so it's gonna have a symmetrical distance from right and the left then we're gonna make this ellipse a little bit a little ellipse just duplicate the first one color this ff oh no this one ff6600 slide it to the right press and to make it in the end layer and then we're gonna make it smaller than than the others just what you gonna do is press control to make it uh to to keep the proportion proportion size center send uh, control and then you're going to string it like this slide it a little bit right like this then duplicate it by control d and then slide it over to the right uh, uh, left sorry then press end button we're, make it, we're gonna make it symmetrical too like the others so we repeat what we have done before uh, select this one and this one by pressing shift and then we group it ctrl g and then we pick them and this first ellipse then you're gonna make it central on vertical and center on horizontal but as you can see the center ellipse is the one that it's 
uh, make it that is I don't know it's move like if if you undo is see it's not right so what we are gonna do is make this uh lock last selected relative to last selected then we pick this and this so the first elf will be the last selected one and then you can pick center on vertical axis and horizontal axis so as you can see the smaller one that is move see right i think it's, it's a little bit too far so i'm gonna uh, ungroup them and and just move them maybe one two three four no two and this one two three two one a eh, no one two three all right so it's a pumpkin right we're now we're gonna make this a shadow and highlight for more of realistic pumpkin for making the shadow we duplicate the first just press the ctrl d and we can color it maybe this then you shrink uh you make it a little bit bigger but just to the right and left not not to central not but not to the bottom and to the top just to right and left so you're gonna press shift and then you hold it a little bit like that and then make it down below so it's gonna be like this now we're gonna do the same to this one and this one like this just duplicate this and uh, give it the same color as this you can select D to make an uh, to select an eye drop tools and you can just click this right make it down 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 see and then I'm just gonna make it to the right just press the right button on your keyboard so it's gonna move to the right and we're gonna do the same to the others duplicate press d i drop this page down page down and then make it to the left two times this one we're not gonna do the same with this one because uh the, it has no shadow because there is no objects uh um, Then we're gonna make this um, highlight. What we're gonna do for the first ellipse, we are gonna duplicate this ellipse. I'm just gonna make this blue so you can see the difference. And then we smaller it, maybe like this. Then duplicate it more. I'm gonna make it red so you can see the difference and then we're gonna move it to the right to one two three maybe three times and to the bottom one two three like that and then you're gonna select the red and the blue one and then we're gonna cut it cut the blue by the red you can press ctrl shift and minus see like that or you can make it you can select them all and you select this path different so difference and I'm gonna make it make the color FFCCAA I think that is for the first and we make a highlight for the others for this just du duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and then duplicate it more i'm gonna make it red and then just 
move it to the right one, two, maybe two times. And then you're gonna pick this and the bottom of it, uh, yeah, this one. Uh, sorry, like this. And then just control shift minus like we've done before. You you cannot see the color because we didn't change the color first. So I'm gonna just I drop from this one. Press D button and I drop this. Do the same to this one. Duplicate it. I'll make it right so you can see. Duplicate it more. I'm gonna make it purple. Then move it to the left. One, two. Then you pick the purple and the red. Then you can pick path difference. Or if you using laptop, you can use press uh, control shift minus difference. And then I drop this by pressing D button. Do the same to this one because it it is they are they have highlight so just duplicate it i make it blue right now duplicate more i make it uh, orange maybe oh no no red and then move it to the left one two select them both and control shift minus or press difference and then press d i drop this do the same to this one duplicate duplicate more Make it to the right one to uh, select them all and then control save minus or press diff difference and then press D, press D to I drop this one. All right, you have a pumpkin right now. Just group them all by select them all and then group by group them by pressing control D. We forgot this, so I'm gonna make it now. Press uh, Bezier tools and then just make a random three, uh, four, four nodes over here. Then just adjust them. I'll make these two nodes a uh, smooth one, so it's not gonna be so so straight. Yeah, like this. Give it a green, no, not this green, I think. Give it this green with no lines. Alright, pretty good. Then press N button so it will be in the bottom of the layers. It's too big, too big, so I'm just smaller it. Alright, okay, like that. Um, I'm gonna color it. Okay, this one's pretty good. Then we're gonna make it a highlight over here. So just duplicate it. I will make it red. You can see the difference. Then duplicate it more. I will make it blue, cyan, and move it to the bottom one and to the left one. Maybe to the bottom more and left more. Select them all, the blue and the red one, and then press select, uh, control, shift, minus to difference. And you make it more lighter blue, green. Lighter green, a uh, lighter green. I think it's pretty good. And you're gonna pitch down it, so it's gonna be in the bottom of the pumpkin. Then select the... A highlight in the green one and just group it all right you have a pumpkin now now we're gonna give him a face first we make um, this scary smile by make I'll make it from an ellipse I'll make a round shape It not has to be in the center. Just make it like this. A little bit ellipse, but no so much. And duplicate this 
I'm gonna make it blue, you can see the difference, and I'm gonna move it to the top, like this. You can use trim or whatever, but for this one, I'm gonna make I'm gonna use a difference tool, difference function. Pick the blue and the red, and then press Ctrl Shift minus, or you can select part difference over here. See, you have a smaller. Make it too big. So I'm gonna undo it and make some adjustment. Right, like that, and then I color it this. See, now oh, to the top. Now we're gonna make this uh, like thick, I think. I don't know what it is. It just pick the busier tools and make a uh, multiple. Make some triangle over here, like this. It's just make different shape of it. Small and big, no matter. Doesn't matter. What is it? then you edit it by edit press edit path by notes or you can press f2 for it then i make this a little bit uh, smooth not so line not so straight line just edit a little bit mm -hmm. One. actually it's not necessary to do but i want to do it because i don't really like the uh, straight lines you can uh, skip this step if you don't like this okay it's pretty good then select them all select the triangles and select this miles too by pressing shift and then click this now we are gonna union it you can use path union or the shortcut is control shift this press or control plus but on my laptop i have to use the shift button so control shift plus it's gonna be like this right and then we're gonna make this eyes I'm gonna use this draw free lines and you can see this uh, arrangement over here smoothing is for four is the default smoothing but I'm gonna make it maybe 35 37 it's okay just draw it like this. Oh no no, it's not good. Right. Arrange. You can see it's not really smooth, so I'm just gonna press F two and I'm gonna um delete some notes that I don't really need. And I will pick these four notes and make it smooth. Like you can see this, make selected notes smooth. Right, like that. And I'm gonna color it like this. No lines. We can do, um, you can duplicate it and make it to the left for left eyes but i will do it later i'm gonna make the others for uh i'm gonna make the shadow and highlight first so you're not gonna make it twice the shadow and highlight you're just gonna make 
highlight and shadow for first eyes and then you're gonna just group them all and make for the right eyes now press free hands again and make this little nose no need to be so tidy or near just make it a little bit one is more one is bigger doesn't matter range is just yeah like this i'm gonna union this one so just uh, select them on and control shift plus and then i'm gonna eye drop by pressing d and eye drop from this no lines all right pretty good now we're gonna make the shadow of this this and this first shadow for this you duplicate it by ctrl d i'm gonna color it on uh, this then duplicate more i'm gonna make it yellow and just just make it smaller okay like this then press press this yellow and this brown dark brown and press ctrl shift minus so you're gonna difference it you can just uh, select it from this but difference or just do what i've uh, what i've always do ctrl shift minus now you have the shadow then make shadow for this nose no uh, this nose too ctrl d make it brown i'm gonna i drop it from here and then ctrl d more for this uh, for duplicate i'm gonna make it red and then i'm gonna smaller it a little like this press red and brown you know you see this is no tidy this is not tidy not too many notes over here but it's it's okay it's it's acceptable and then after you select two of them and then we press ctrl shift minus like before do the same to the eyes ctrl d make it a uh, brown by drop eye dropping this uh, duplicate it more uh, i'm just gonna move it to the bottom maybe two yeah like this then uh, select green control uh no green shift press shift and then you click this so both of them will be selected and then press ctrl shift minus see now we're gonna make the highlight like this just pick this brown larger and lighter brown duplicate it i drop the color from this and just make it um bigger to the top and the bottom by pressing shift and move this and then press pitch down so it will be in the uh, bottom of the eyes like this it's too big all right pretty good do the same to the nose pick the lighter brown duplicate i drop from this make it a little bigger by pressing shift and then pitch down like that do it to the smile too press the lighter brown duplicate it press d to eye drop it from here and then make it bigger by shift click hold and drop this and press pitch down there you go all right now it's simple right just do the same steps repeatedly now we are gonna so it, we have three objects for each objects 
this we have the smile the shadow and the highlight for this two we have the nose shadow and highlight this is the eyes shadow and highlight so we are gonna group them all group the smile first group by pressing ctrl g the nose ctrl g and eyes ctrl g now for the right eyes we're just gonna duplicate this one i have duplicated this and then flip the selected objects uh, horizontally like this and then just slide it to the left and you make it bigger by pressing ctrl and drop this to bigger i think i'm gonna make it a uh, smaller okay um i have i have picked a wrong color for the highlight you see this one is more yellow i make it my i i make this one before i make this tutorial for uh trial and error so i'm just gonna change the color of this just press control and shift and select the highlight all highlight i'm just gonna i drop it from here it's a little bit yellow and i like this color i think i got wrong color too for the shadow so so just i'm gonna pick the shadow this shadow not shadow in the eyes nose and smile just this the shadow of the pumpkin i drop it from this all right pretty good so we have got pumpkin okay just group them all it's finished so just group them all by pressing ctrl g and you don't have a uh, uh, this line so we're gonna make it what we are gonna do is just you have grouped this one just duplicate this by ctrl d and then press ctrl shift g to ungroup all don't move it just do it in the exact same place ctrl shift g until you see this one no groups to ungroup so you're good don't click anything just do it and see th this this uh notification here no groups to ungroups and then you press ctrl shift plus so you will have you will union like this union control and plus on my laptop i have to press the shift button ctrl shift plus so if you have using laptop using notebook and ctrl plus doesn't work you can try ctrl shift plus it's gonna be one object and just color it this brown dark brown no lines see no strokes and then you uh, press and button so it will be in the end layer and press ctrl zero ctrl zero to make it bigger see like this it's pretty good so we have two objects now the pumpkin and the uh, outline here if you select them both you can see there are two different objects so we are just going to group this now finish you now have your scary pumpkin but this is not too scary because this is not real and not life so yeah it's finished don't forget to press the subscribe button so 
I will try to make a new tutorial every every weeks. Yeah, I will try that because yeah, maybe somebody over here over over maybe somebody will see it useful and do it. Just yeah, then don't forget to press the subscribe. Yes, that's all. And if you have requests for any tutorial, just write down below under the comments or email me. I'm just open for everything. Okay. See ya.